Hi, welcome back to Artlinson's Online. I'm Murray Charteris. Improving your drawing skills is all about learning to interpret shapes. Our brain usually tries to trick us though into changing the shapes of the objects that we're drawing in an attempt to make them more recognisable. Now we need to try and stop our brain from doing that and instead only draw what we're seeing. I'm about to show you a great way to change the way that we draw shapes. This lesson is all about learning to follow the real shapes that we're seeing. And it's lots of fun as well. Come on, I'll show you how. This exercise is all about getting your hands to follow your eyes without your brain telling you that you're doing it wrong. I've got a reference photo of a frog here that was one of, in one of my pot plants this morning, but you can use any shapes at all. It might be a pot plant in the corner of a room or someone sitting across from you or any object that you've got lying on your desk. This is a really quick exercise that you can do anywhere at any time. From just doing this one exercise several times a day, you will rapidly improve your drawing skills. The idea is to get your hand to follow your eyes as you explore the shapes that you're seeing. To ensure that your brain doesn't take over and tell you what shapes to draw, we're going to take away one of the safety barriers that we use when drawing. And here's what we're going to do. Grab a spare A4 piece of paper and stick your pencil right through the middle of it. Push it halfway through and grip the pencil underneath the sheet of paper like this. Now we're going to draw like this. That's right, you're not going to be able to see your drawing. We're going to draw the shapes simply by following the outlines of the shapes in front of us without looking at what we're drawing. Start by picking a point along the outside shape of your object. Usually start at a corner to make it easier for yourself. Now with your eyes, slowly move along the, the edge of your shape. Move your pencil across your drawing to follow the movement of your eyes. When your eyes need to change direction to follow the shape, your pencil should also do the same. Don't lift your pencil off the paper though, this is really important. Keep following your eye movement around the shape, taking care to observe slight changes in the direction of the outline. They may be subtle, but also very important. If you reach the end of a line and it joins another shape or splits in two directions, just pick one of the lines to follow, it doesn't matter which one, it's all about training your pencil to follow. Go all the way around each shape, double back over lines if you need to. If you need to draw a shape that doesn't join your current shape, just lighten the pressure and move across the page to where you think that new shape should be. But don't take your pencil off or you're going to lose all reference to what you've already drawn. When you've finished going over all of your shapes, you can have a look at your creation. Now, all right, it may look a bit weird. It may even look very abstract. Chances are that your lines don't join where they should or they cross over each other in some sort of jumbled mess. It's okay, it's supposed to look weird. This exercise isn't about creating a masterpiece. It's simply about training your mind. I've made some pretty funny looking drawings using this method. Just have a bit of fun with it and you know, chuckle at your results. This is called blind contour drawing and it's going to do several things for us. First, it forces us to examine the object shapes a lot more carefully. It becomes our only reference to what we're drawing, so we can't try and make our drawing look like a frog by adding other details or changing the shape just because we think that it will make the drawing look like a frog. This way, our observation is our only guide to try and make our drawing look like anything at all. We need to carefully analyse what the shape really is and how it curves and changes direction. Secondly, it gets us in the practice of looking more at the object that we're drawing than at our own drawing. Any time that we draw an object, we need to study it carefully and spend a lot of time looking at it. Most beginners will try and draw the object by barely looking at it at all. So this forces us to examine the object and its real shapes. <laughs> I 
Well, okay, it does look kind of weird, but it's kind of cool too. And we're seeing some resemblance to the object. It is sort of following the lines, um, perhaps not in the right positions, but the lines are sort of following the right shapes anyway. So that's, that's the idea of it. That's what we want to try and do, is we want to try and train our brain to follow the shapes. And the more we do this exercise, um, the better our drawings are going to be when we are actually looking at our page as well. So after you've done this a few times, maybe half a dozen to a dozen times, go ahead and try and draw the object and look at what you're doing as well. And we'll see what, how much better that result is going to be. All right, well, thanks for joining me on artlessonsonline.com.au. If you want to download the picture of the frog, it's there online for you. So just go and download that. And I'll, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.